My car died at work yesterday, so I got towed home. I've noticed that I don't hear my fuel pump when I turn the key on, so I'm definitely gonna check that. Uh, I've been checking all the fuses related to fuel relays and the fuel pump. Once I'm done with that, I'm gonna tear out the seat and the firewall in the back to get to the fuel tank. So let's see what I find. So usually when I turn the key, you can hear the fuel pump because it's about a foot behind me. You'll hear it kind of uh, spinning up. Right now I get nothing. So I think it's pretty obvious the car's not getting fuel. It does crank, so there's plenty of power. So I've dug out my fuel relay. It is this white one on the end. And I have my green connector that normally attaches to it. Right now I'm gonna check this for power. The car is off right now, so I'm gonna do car off and car on just to see how it changes, if anything. Nothing, nothing, 21 volts, zero. So I'm gonna turn the car on, we'll see if anything changes. Zero, this one now has 20. This one still has 20 and zero. So it is getting power back here. The next question is, is the relay getting power to the pump? I had the relay plugged in. I'm gonna turn the car on again and see if anything changes. 20, also near 20, 18. 18 at this one, nothing. So now I have three poles of power. So power does seem to be getting through the relay. Let's keep looking further. While playing with the power line going into the fuel pump, which is the red and black line right here, I tried the key and now the fuel pump is starting up again. So I don't know, I didn't change anything yet. I jimmied something and it came back to life. Maybe it's a bad connection. Maybe these solder seals are as bad as everybody says. I should just swap those out for a real solder or a crimp. But I think my car is working you know what i just said that and the fuel pump did not start up again it has something to do with these connections right here yep it's got those connections it's hit or miss let's try the car Heard these get brittle and get kind of questionable connections after a couple of years and maybe that's what's happened but i've already dug this far i'm going to replace those just in case and we'll see but the pump is alive Thinking those old solder seals weren't as good, so I did a crimp style this time. And now the fuel pump is working. You can hear that whine. That whine is the fuel pump spinning up. It's time to button everything back up and see how well the car works for the next week or so.